That, that's not a one-year levy. That's over the life of the project thus far. Is that true? The 15? That 1.5 1. 1. 1. 1. 15 million was from all Kinder Morgan assets paid to the state. The 1.5 was from the Kinder Morgan assets in the county. But for how long a period? One year. Oh, that's in one year. One year. Okay. Just, yes, sir, I do have a couple more questions. Okay. Uh, as to facility issues, the, uh, the we'll call it the processing unit that is shown on your map. I can't tell by the map whether that's actually in Arizona or New Mexico. It's in Arizona. And it's, about, it's about three miles, three and a half miles south of the Springerville generating station. Okay. And uh, all the piping you're showing, is that above ground piping or will some of that be underground or all of it yeah. underground? This is my last question, if you don't mind, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you mentioned uh, the drilling outside of the perimeter to help uh, reduce the footprint. Uh, and I'm wondering if the one well I'm seeing, like between here and Springerville, there, I see one on your map shows it outside of the boundaries. Is that your well outside of the boundaries? And can you describe what that means by reducing the footprint by doing? Um, I'm not sure which well you're referring to. There would be. Um, I can't address the, um, by doing horizontal wells, we can reduce the number of equivalent vertical wells. And so that's what I mean about reducing the footprint is if we can more efficiently um, exploit the reservoir using horizontal methods, then the surface impact is much less. So would that mean you might be outside that perimeter boundary to get a horizontal angle properly on what you want to hit? still be within our unit boundary. Okay. It's just it could it could stick out kind of off of imagine a forty five degree coming off one of the corners of you know, that's what we mean by perimeter wells. Thank you very much. Okay. Mr. Winker, just have one question on your estimated transaction severance task tax of sixty four million during the life of the project. How much of that do you estimate comes to the past Um the tax department their interpretation was that the majority of that comes to Apache County and there's only a small credit that goes back to the state. Okay, it's my understanding, just for the board's information, we've never had a severance tax, I believe, in the county because this is similar to uh, copper or something else where you, where you sever it from the ground. That's, that's what the severance means, right? So the severance tax is a tax that's paid on every is it cubic foot of CO2. Is that how you measure it? It's, it's on a it's based on the revenue stream from the CO2 sales. Okay, so that's, I just want to make sure understand that this is the first time we've ever had a severance tax. Yeah, it's, the, it's called a transaction privilege tax. It's a non-mining tax, and that's what it, it, it's calculated very similar to severance tax that we've seen in other states. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Weller? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is CO2 mining carbon dioxide mining. Uh, I've heard some discussion that there may be some natural gas in the area. Is there a possibility of hitting that also, or you're not even concerned or thinking about that issue? We've seen trace uh, percentages of methane in the north area, but not enough to be considered to be a natural gas mine. And just um, for education purposes, the CO2, uh, what we use it for is we pipe it over into the Permian Basin and they're using that to inject into the oil wells to increase their oil recovery. We have no, no plans for any separation of natural gas from the CO2. Even if one of our plants converts to natural gas? Even if one of our power plants converts to natural gas? <laughs> uh, well, I guess that would change our, our, our plan. Can't hear you, Kermit. Can't hear you, sir. Uh, currently, we have no plans for um, uh, processing or separating natural gas. The separation that I, that I mentioned for the processing facility is just for the potential to have water uh, from the CO2. Okay, and I think what you, what you were uh, referring to is I'm sure you don't know how much you're going to run into your sample show. There's not a lot of methane at this point, but uh, I asked about the power plant conversions and you said, well, that might change the formula and depending on what you find there and so forth. So the future will tell on that. We, we don't suspect that there's yeah. um, any volumes of natural gas today to support the power plant. But just 
Thank you. Okay, this uh, involves the county. So, is there any questions from anyone out there? Okay. I, in your initial response, you indicated that you do not plan on using fracking uh, in the in this process. Are there any guarantees? that you will not be using it if you come across a situation where it might be necessary? I mean, are you committed to doing this straight drilling? Um, so I can't guarantee never, but I would say there's a stopgap in place that if we do decide that we need to frack, we have to go through the ADEQ, the, the Department of Environmental Quality, to get a specific permit for that purpose. And that takes a while, and so it would be and I'm, it would probably involve public hearings on the matter. So we're Thank trying you. to avoid it, obviously, but I don't want to say, never say never. Okay, if there's no other questions, um, thank you. Thank you. Very well done, thank you. Okay, let's move on to um, item two. Jim? Jim here? Mr. Chairman, I don't know if we have somebody from Core Service that was going to taking Mr. Zorn's place. It doesn't look like anybody was able to attend. We wanted to have an update on the fire situation in the county. Okay. But it looks like we'll have to do that another time. Okay. Item three is the consent item, Mr. Winger. Yes, Mr. Chairman, the consent agenda consists of items A through D, and we recommend approval. There's a motion. I'll second the motion to approve the consent. Okay. Any questions or comments? With that, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor and opposed. Thank you. Let's move on to item four engineering. Mr. Prosby. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Item four is a discussion of possible approval. Uh, to enter into an intergovernmental agreement, JPA 14-004-011-1 with the Arizona Department of Transportation and, and the county for pavement striping. This is a highway safety improvement uh, program funded project. Uh, Apache County is the sponsoring. Uh, it's, it's actually concerns the three other incorporated communities in the county, Springville, Eager and St. John's uh, for striping on some of their um, uh, routes in, in their communities. Uh, the, the route that the county will be striping is the uh, access road into the Tucson Electric Power Plant. Uh, the cost, the total cost for the project is $120,000. Um, these are 100% funded uh, projects, so there is no cost to the county or the communities for the striping. Would recommend approval. Okay, gentlemen, will we approve? I'll second the motion to approve with a question. A motion and a second to approve your question, Mr. Weller. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Crosby. Uh, could you just briefly explain how the percentages are determined? When uh, was there $120,000 available? and there was discussions on how much might be used in each community, or did everybody say this is what we need that is associated with highway safety, and you went for that amount of money, and we got all of it or a part of it. How did that discussion go? Um, those funds are made available through our transportation planning organization, which is ourselves and the three communities. Um, we are given a certain budget by the state for our organization at least in side of the NACOG region. Uh, it recently, uh, Apache County has used these funds to strike the Contra Snowflake Highway. Um, we used all of those funds. And so as these funds became available, uh, we gave first priority to the other three communities uh, since we had had the last round of funds. Um, and so everything that they had that was eligible, they have, are trying to strike with this project. Um, and, but yet they didn't use up all the funds that were available, so we'll, we went and found a road that we could utilize the rest of the funds. So that's so we came at the end of the priority list, if you will, yes, uh, this round. So.